How's it going, you guys? Nathaniel R here. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch the video. I really appreciate it. Hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can level up your engineering skill from level 0 all the way up to 200. Now, this one took a long time. I have filled out like 20 pages of my notebook just going through all the different things. So it was an absolute pain to do. But hopefully... Once you guys watch the video, you guys could have some good information for you to be able to tackle it on and just to complete this skill because it is an exhausting skill. It really is. I'm grinding it out still for sure, but I just I wanted to go through and make a video on it just to show you all the different things that you could choose or the things that I have found just from all the maths, <laughs> what I found to be the most efficient route. Um, I would love to hear your guys' thoughts at the comment, in the comments down below if you found something that you preferred if you are ready to 200 or stuff that you like right now. So definitely comment down below and I'd love to hear that. Uh, also, there are timestamps down below. So if you'd like to skip ahead to go to a certain level, 100% go and do that. You know, I want to make sure that this is efficient for you so you can go and do that. Uh, there And also, there are three stages that I want you guys to see uh, in this. So we're going to have four stages in total. Uh, so 0 to 50. Uh, 50 to 100, uh, 100 to, to 150, and then 150 all the way up to 200. Uh, there For three of those stages, I will have uh, two options that you could pick from, and that honestly is going just to, to depend on your server, so like ease of gathering and or if the resources you can get are cheap and easy for you to buy. Um, so that's something you can look at and choose from. And then also uh, for the first two so level zero to level 50 and then 50 all the way to 100 so those first two stages my main focus is trying to keep our metal usage down so that we are using as little metals as we can because we're going to be using a ton of metals in our later rounds or the later stages so i wanted to find ones too that were using less metals but also gave us good xp and were pretty easy to gather so anyways guys i'm sorry that's a lot of information to start off with a lot of information but let's now Let's jump right into it. All right, so starting off from zero all the way to level 50, we are going to either have the treated wood bow. So this one right here and or the gun powder. And these re the reason I said the treated wood bow is because the timber, the coarse leather and the linen are all pretty easy to gather right at the start. So if you're in Everfall, you can pretty much gather all of your wood. So age all the uh, young wood you can get right here, pretty easy right outside this place. If you need to get some, uh, the, the, some of the leather, you can come over here. There's some of these animals over here. Or there's this spot right here that I like to go because the lynx that spawn in this area spawn really quickly and they give you some decent leather so it's pretty easy to go and gather that. Then if you need hemp, you can just travel a little bit down. There's the hermit's fast travel right here and you could just get uh, the hemp that all spawns right here so you can easily get the fiber to make the linen that you need. Plus this right here, this um, farm gives you a ton, a ton of, of the hemp so it's easy to gather that. So that's the main reason why I wanted to pick that. Plus, it gives you some solid XP. If you want a different option, then I personally recommend the gunpowder. Um, I I personally like uh, I prefer the uh, wood bow because it just those resources are all pretty easy to gather. If you're gonna go and gather the gunpowder, you get 96 XP. Um, and the uh, flint and saltpeter are okay, but it just it takes a little bit longer to get that. Um, if I look remember correctly. Um, the flint, you can go all the way over to this part down in Windsward, and they can they spawn pretty decent over here by all of this stuff over here. The stone view, sea break, and stuff like that. And if you need saltpeter, then you, what you can do, even from Everfall, is you can come up here, and then up here in this location, there's a decent amount of saltpeter that spawns, so you can go and grab that. Um, so that's an option. But I personally, if you're going to gather them, I would say zero all the way up to 50. Do the treated wood bow because all the stuff you can get right outside of Everfall really, really easy. You know, just like a little loop if you want. Um, and it's pretty easy to solidly get that and get some decent XP from doing that. All right. Now that we've gotten all the way up to level 50, this is when we can start the next step. So stage two, level 50, all the way to 100. So once you let one, uh, 50, this is what I personally recommend right here, the lacquered wood bow. Now, the reason is because you can gather all of the same resources right outside of Everfall. The only difference is that you're going to be switching to lumber instead of timber, which is the second tier or the next tier up after the timber. 
and it's good XP as well as you don't really have to change up your route much at all because you can still get the coarse leather and the linen really easily because it's, you know, still the lowest tier versions of those. The only difference is this, but you can get a lot of aged wood and the young wood right outside of Everfall, just right here. So super, super, super easy. And I definitely recommend that. And if you skipped on ahead for the uh, young for the leather, I personally recommend coming over here to this. So if you travel down from Everfall, go straight over here, just right here. There's a bunch that spawns right here. There's links that spawn and they spawn quickly and they give you some solid leather. Not too bad. And if you travel down a little bit, come right down here. There's a bunch of hemp for the linen that you'll need that spawns pretty solid all around here and as well as this little farm. So a bunch that spawns around this location. So definitely recommend that. And that's why I really, really like you the uh, lacquered wood bow as the next option because it's easy to gather the stuff solid xp and like i said before at the beginning we wanted to make sure you're not using any metals for the first two because once you get to the later stages you're gonna be using a lot um so that's gonna be it for level 50 all the way up to 100 all right now that we've gotten up to 100 this is going to be our next step we have two options so we either have the weird spear or the star metal musket it really depends on your server and how easy it is for you to gather those two different resources i personally recommend the weird spear just because even after the nerf that they had on the wolves that you can get you know getting weird wood is easier to farm because you can get like three weird wood per wolf and they spawn quickly plus there's a nice little farm spot where you can go and cut some down some trees um the main reason i I put both of those because if you are able to get star metal in my server, it's expensive. It's like one of the most expensive metals for some reason to get. I personally stay a little bit further away from star metal. But if you are able to get star metal and or steel, you know, get steel super easy to get. You know, just get some iron and then some uh, flux and then some charcoal and stuff like that. Nothing. No big deal. Um, but the if you're trying to farm star metal, it's a little bit harder. Uh, if you are going to do the weird wood. Uh, spear i personally recommend coming up here to brightwood then coming right down here there's a, fav uh, a fast travel point called the alchemist uh the alchemist shrine you can come in here there's wolves they don't give you as much like nowhere near what they used to but you can har uh, harvest and farm them regularly and decently quick so if you are trying to get that you can and if you come into this section down here then there are some spots uh, or some trees that you can actually cut down so you could be harvesting these wolves for like 10 minutes, then go back in and see if the trees have respawned. Stuff like that. Uh, if you go for the musket, I personally really, I keep saying personally, I'm sorry. I really like to come all the way over here. Uh, I will leave a picture actually to show you where all the different um, little ore or veins for the star metal spawn in that location. So if you want to go and try and gather that, then you can try and get that. Um, but for me personally, I would go for the weird spawn. Uh, spear just because it's easier to farm the uh weird wood for me personally at least in my server so you'll have to try and check and then also check your markets to see if you can buy any of the other stuff because if you can buy something for cheaper then definitely go and do that but these are the two options that i personally recommend from 100 all the way up to uh 150 all right now we are at 150 all the way up to 200 this is going to be my personal recommendation it's going to be either the ori calcum arrows or the ori calcum musket and the main reason and i chose those is just because the xp you can get from them are pretty solid and they're i mean they're not easy to make <laughs> everything up here is pretty crap <laughs> um but i personally recommend doing the arrows and the main reason is because one uh for me personally uh harvesting or trying to farm these um ori calcum and all that stuff for these two the arrows require less ori calcum, which is hard for me to gather in my server. Unless you could buy it, buying it in my server is easy. Like, it's one of the cheapest metals that I could buy, so I could buy a ton of that. Um, but if I want to farm something, the weird wood is easier for me to farm than the ori calcum is. So say that, you know, your server is really saturated, you can't get any ori calcum, then personally going for the arrows because you can get a little bit more XP. So times it by four, you still get, you get like 12,000 XP, then for the musket, you get 10,000 XP, but for the arrows, it only takes 48 star metal ore, 32 ori calcum ore, then 96 weird wood, which is the harder part to gather, but you can easily just go and just 
you know farm that for a little bit and that's easier because they spawn the wolf spawn quickly so you can go and get that resource not too bad for the musket it's 180 star metal then ore, and then 120 ore calcum ore when they're broken down how much you'll need for each of the ore for those so personally i recommend the arrows just because you can go and gather the weird witch which is the highest number or the largest number in the resources needed for those two um that the weird wood is easier to gather um and if you skipped on ahead then this is where i'll go is i go up here from uh brightwood and i come on down here over to this place over at the alchemist shrine and there's wolves that spawn here you could just farm them they, i was getting like three per wolf so not super fast but there are trees that spawn in this section that you can go harvest then come out here and just kill wolves for like 10 15 minutes then go in here and harvest the trees again or try to harvest them again um but when it comes down to it for me personally in my server the uh the ori calcum arrows are the easier one for me to do because i'm not getting ori uh the ori calcum ore sucks um so uh definitely easier for me to get the weird wood as opposed to the ori calcum so but it just depends on your server which are easier to get for you to get if you can buy any of the resources again you know do that if you have the gold and or if it's easier for you depending on time and stuff like that but that's my personal recommendation from 150 all the way to 200 is the ori calcum arrow and or the ori calcum musket you can even do both same thing, let's be honest um but that's my personal recommendation but anyways guys hope the video was informative definitely <laughs> it's super exhausting i think i mean i there's i have so many pages of just notes and stuff like this and then just on my this another little notebook and it, just going through just trying to find what i could to be most beneficial if you guys have other thoughts or things that you found to be a little bit more efficient for you and or different ideas i'd love to hear them down in the comments um and just to chat with you guys if you liked the video make sure to hit that like button to subscribe to the channel that helps me out a ton um and definitely that support <laughs> keeps me motivated because this is exhausting uh so many cups of tea and coffee so many anyways but anyways guys i really appreciate you Hope you all have a fantastic day, and we'll see you guys next time.